Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Everyday Tesla Life. So, today I should probably just be in bed because I'm still not well. I've been sick for a while, but I just have to get out of bed because today they have uh, the new Nissan Leaf uh, on display in one of the shops here in Kristiansand, the dealerships. So, I thought we'll uh, take a look at the brand new spanking Nissan Leaf 2018. So here we are and let's go inside to see the new Nissan Leaf. So here it is, from the front, the new Nissan LEAF 2018. And I must say, it's quite a bit nicer than the old one. So here is the back. Quite spacious, I must say, there's a lot more room here than in the... 2016-17 um, Leaf But still they have the Bose Thing for the subwoofer on the floor like that and It's just plain stupid. I Just don't understand why they haven't found a better solution for that They could have integrated that subwoofer better but hey, that's how it is. People will buy this car like crazy, I'm sure. Just today they have sold uh, 10 cars here, just today. So it's a popular car and the last six weeks they have sold about 80, 90 cars of the new Nissan Leaf. Let's quickly talk about what's new on the new leaf versus the old one. Well, first of all, of course, the looks. And I must say, as I have said very many times, it is a nice car. And the other thing is, of course, that it has this one has a 40 kilowatt hour battery, and then they're talking about a 60 kilowatt battery, kilowatt hour battery later. Sorry. <laughs> So this one has a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. Also, these sensors are new. It now has sensors all around the car, in addition to the 360 camera, which also was in the old Leaf, but now you have the ultrasonic sensors in addition. So the trunk is supposed to be the same size, except the wheel arches, oh, you cannot see that now, but the wheel arches are uh, smaller here, so that you have more space sidewise. And it has LED lighting, which the old one also had, but I must say these lights are a lot nicer than the boobs the old leaf had. The car has Apple CarPlay so that you can connect your uh, mobile phone or your Apple to the car. And it has the Pro Pilot, will after a while will park itself. It has adaptive cruise control. The old one did not have that. And it has a lane assist that will help you stay within uh, your lane. This is the charging port. It's still Chadmo charged for uh, supercharging, no, sorry, <laughs> rapid charging, that'll be here, 
But here it seems like it is uh, type 2. I'll have to check that if that's uh, correct. Because then they have, uh, I would say, advanced. That's the European new standard, the type 2. But I'll check. And here is the trailer sport. And uh, it does seem like it is a type 2. And they said uh, this is because now the new leaf uh, is also supposed to be used with the power grid so that it can send uh, electricity both both ways you can charge the car but you will always you will also be able to charge your home battery pack or use it on the electrical grid at home that's a part of Nissan's uh, new smart technology so that's why it seems like uh, they had to change the technology of the cable so probably we will have a type 2 charging on the new Nissan Leaf at least this car has it. Another new feature that the Nissan Leaf has is what Nissan calls an innovative e-pedal. Meaning that you can drive using only one pedal. Accelerating when you press it and uh, braking when you let go of that one pedal. How innovative it is, I'm not sure in Nissan, because uh, the Teslas have had uh, one pedal driving since they launched the Model S. So, better late than never, I guess. Now this color is uh, pearl white and it's very nice, but the first, first edition that you can uh, buy, the launch edition, comes in two colors, black or um, sort of greenish gray, they say. So probably, it seems like most have uh, bought the black one. I, talk, I spoke to a guy here who ordered his leaf, he's getting it in March, and he said I will definitely go for the black one. And this displayed version is a Techno model, can be ordered from January. The launch model will not have uh, leather seats, and of course only those two colored colors that I mentioned. So here's a Nissan cake, and... Uh, drink and uh, hot dogs hey, hey. so we'll have some uh, Nissan hot dogs and Nissan cake A new nice interior there are a few elements here that are quite similar to the old leaf you can see that it's a leaf and a Nissan uh, but the instrument cluster seems new with a screen beside the speedometer <laughs> multifunctional steering wheel with buttons here is the Pilot, Nissan Pro Pilot for, well, yeah, it'll be like Tesla's uh, auto steer, I guess. Eco buttons. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, I must say it's nice. It has some of the elements of the old leaf and also quite a bit new elements. Another interesting thing is that I see they have gone back to the automatic uh, parking brake. Before, on the first models, they also had this. And then, afterwards, they had a foot brake here for the parking brake. Now they have put it back here. Interesting. Comfortable seats. They sort of do remind me of the old leaf. And the same lump in the middle here. I don't see why they have to have that, but it's there. And then, well, I'm not a tall person, but I guess the seat in front is quite far back now. Good space inside too. But now I'm a small person, so I must say actually. 
maybe a bit tight, uh, considering when I sat in the back, I would have that lower waist, and I wouldn't have to take the uh, too much forward. So we have got some uh, Nissan cake, <clears throat> and um, we're now about to leave. Behind us, here's the old leaf. We'll uh, have to uh, still uh, <laughs> get used to seeing those on the roads. There are a lot of Nissan Leaf, and they have um, very little problems, actually. So that's why they are so popular. So, maybe about two, three months before the first uh, Leafs uh, of the new version will be on the road. No, it'll be more. It'll be like four months, four or five months. So until then, we'll have to live with the old Leaf, which is still a very good car, I must say. Uh, but very exciting to be here today and see uh, the new Nissan Leaf. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, please do follow on uh, the YouTube channel Everyday Tesla Life for more uh, EV related information. And of course, from the Tesla Model X. Have a great day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.